And welcome back to The Watchman, only right here on TBN, coming to you from a very special place, the one and only Masada, probably the most legendary fortress in all the world. And what a thrill it was today, folks, to bring you here to show you the history and a great overview of what this place has meant with our great tour guide, our good friend, Danny the Digger Herman. But I'm really interested as we close in bringing this to the modern day and why this spectacular place is still relevant today for Israel and for you. I think of the prophecy of dry bones in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 where God Almighty says, dry bones, get up and walk and flesh and muscle come back onto those bones and breath comes back in and all of a sudden it's a standing army once again. Well, folks, you know what? That's very relevant because it's describing the nation of Israel today. Israel was dead. It was finished. After the zealots, the rebels were defeated here around the year AD 73, the Romans were victorious. The Jewish people were dispersed to the ends of the earth for the better part of 2000 years. But guess what? They are back. The dry bones walk again. They are back here in the nation of Israel, in the land of Israel, never to be scattered again. And I can only wonder what the Romans would think today to see the Jewish people walking on Masada once again. We love bringing you these kinds of stories at Christians United for Israel. That's why we want you to join our movement, join our team here so we can keep bringing you to places like Masada, Jerusalem and beyond and showing you why Israel matters to you. So you see the URL on your screen, you see the phone number, join Kufi, join America's largest pro-Israel organization for such a time as this. And thanks for joining us this week at Masada, a very special place. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace.